Welcome to GStrut University's Training Wizard. Today's session is in two parts. Part 1, Basic Product Knowledge, and Part 2, Selling Strut Products. Part 1, Product Knowledge. So what exactly is strut? We can simply define strut as metal framing channel for commercial and industrial building construction. It is universally regarded as the hanging product of choice for pipe, pipe and valve systems, HVAC, conduit and electrical, cable tray, fire protection products, utility boxes, and miscellaneous equipment. So it is a familiar product to the majority of construction-related trades. Generally speaking, if it hangs from the ceiling or is secured to the wall, strut is the substructure system that holds it to these vertical and horizontal planes. Strut is manufactured by a close tolerance, serial production process known as roll forming. The most common material is galvanized steel. In addition, other strut channels can be stainless steel, aluminum, painted steel, fiberglass, or PVC coated. The characteristic U-shaped channels have a candy cane exchange which promotes easily securing fittings and fasteners to the installed channels. Once the automated inline roll forming is complete, product is bundled, blocked, and banded for shipment. Think of strut as a giant erector set on steroids, or tinker toys with a purpose. These toys have some basic rules to make them work, but they also allow for a great deal of flexibility, versatility, and in-the-field creativity for the installer so it thrives as interchangeable, universally specified commodity hanger product. Let's look at how G-Strut is most commonly utilized. Conduit runs, trapeze, vertical wall supports. G-Strut systems promote simplified logical support for complex building infrastructure, whether it be a series of conduit runs overhead, hanging trapeze supports, or the wall mounting of equipment boxes and tubing. Strut is the go-to product to expediently and safely support building hardware. So the versatility of Strut makes a very tight, complex configuration fairly simple and logical to create, and in fact, relatively easy to install, with no need to do welding or complicated fabrication in the field. The unique configurations and combinations are virtually limitless. Common applications of Strut systems include cable tray support and suspension systems, panel stands, tray legs, and roof supports, lighting and suspended ceiling grids, plumbing, heavy mechanical infrastructure, HVAC support and suspension, and fire protection systems. And there is a measure of Tinker Toy flexibility for the installer to easily adapt the strut system to difficult or challenging situations. Designers, specifiers, and installers also prefer hanging with strut because they can have every confidence that the system will meet engineering requirements and it can be installed efficiently. In this example, strut system components are conveniently pre-assembled in the workshop away from the job site to facilitate cost-effective, uncomplicated installation on-site. Note in this example how even the most complex configurations can be installed with a little bit of knowledge and a few basic strut hanger devices. Chances are they did not draw it up this way on the blueprint, but the installers devised a creative layout that satisfied inspection within a space limitation. Part 2. Selling Strut Now let's talk about how we sell strut. Expert engineers design strut systems and calculate loads and safety variables. Installers use their expertise to construct to these standards in the field. And good sales and service people assist their customers in applying the right product to the right job. So selling strut channel really boils down to asking five simple questions. Question 1. 
what minimum gauge or material thickness and depth or profile size are required for the job. In this example, we want 12 gauge and 1 and 5 eighths inch depth. Question 2. What channel length will best serve our end use? In this example, we want 10 footers. Question 3. What hole pattern, if any, will best serve the job function? In this example, we want oval slots, sometimes also referred to as half slots. Question 4. What substrate or material will best serve the job function? In this example, we want standard carbon steel. Question 5. What type of finish or coating will best serve the construction? In this example, we want pre-galvanized steel. So we determined that the customer needs the following. G-strut metal framing strut channel, 12 gauge thickness, 1 and 5 8 inch profile depth, 10 foot length, oval slot hole pattern, carbon steel substrate material, and pre-galvanized zinc coating. So we just ordered the most frequently requested strut screw, G582 OS1. Gee whiz, that was easy. Let's try one more. 14 gauge thickness, 13 16 profile depth, 20 foot length, long slot hole pattern, carbon steel substrate, Pickled and oiled painted, green. We just ordered a less frequently requested strut screw, G134 LS2 POP. Gee whiz, that was easy too. Now it's fittings and fasteners that make a strut system come together, and the sales assistance you offer the customer is pretty much the same as the channel. But because the depth and breadth of the fittings is so broad, we have simplified it to 10 easy questions or product categories. What do you ask in order to select the right wizard accessories? Number one, basic fastening hardware, channel nuts. Strut fastening hardware is fundamental to a system's installation. Spring nuts are the most commonly used fastener, preferred for their versatility and ease of installation. The functionality of this small but mighty fastener is clever and highly effective. A coiled spring holds the nut in place until an installer can secure it with a bolt. Ridges on the case-hardened nut create serration when torqued into the strut steel that holds fast against shear loads. Tapped thread on the case-hardened nut firmly secures to the bolt or threaded rod. Zinc plating promotes long-life corrosion resistance. The most commonly ordered spring nut is GN821. Regular spring nut for 1 and 5 8 inch channel, 3 8 16 thread size, 3 8 inches thickness. Number 2. Typical hardware and rod. In addition to custom strut fasteners, common threaded fasteners such as nuts, bolts, couplers, and threaded rods are fundamental to a typical strut installation. Number 3. Fittings and accessories. Strut flat and angle plates, post bases, wing fittings, and connector plates are key components that efficiently tie strut channel into a system. Number four, beam clamps and U-bolts. Fastens the channel to structural beams and supports. Number five, bracket fittings. Fastens the channel to vertical planes, typically to create shelves for equipment or general storage. Number six, Conduit clamps. Securing conduit and pipe overhead is perhaps the most common application for a strut system. Special clamps are available for the full spectrum of pipe and tube, from the very lightest conduit to heaviest black pipe. These include EMT, rigid, universal, OD tubing, riser, copper, stainless, cushion, and U clamps. Number seven. End caps and closures. End caps provide a finished look to a system while covering sharp edges which may present a cut risk. 
Number 8. Continuous Concrete Inserts These are uniquely designed to be cast in concrete, principally in ceilings and walls. Once cast in, the strut functions normally for supporting pipe, conduit, cable tray, and strut systems. Number 9. Roof Pipe Supports Roof support blocks protect commercial and industrial roof membranes from the weight and construction of rooftop strut systems. Number 10. Specials and Custom Orders G-Strut will customize to specification including custom cut to length, custom colors, special fabrication, and packaging. 10 Question Pop Quiz What are some of the things strut is designed to hang or support? Pipe, pipe and valve fitting systems, HVAC, conduit electrical, lighting, cable tray, fire protection. True or false, strut is an interchangeable, universally specified commodity hanger product. True. What are the two most common planes or surfaces that strut supports product from? Horizontal plane and vertical plane. True or false, Trapeze is a very common strut installation design that suspends the channel from threaded rod in order to support systems like pipe or conduit runs and cable tray. True. Name at least three of the five questions to ask when selecting this right strut for the job. Gauge in depth, length, perforation, material, finish. What is the most common, frequently ordered strut channel? G582 OS1 12 gauge 1 and 5 8 inch by 1 and 5 8 inch pre galvanized oval slot 10 foot. Name two of the four important features of the most popular spring nut. Coiled spring holds nut in place, case hardened ridges, tapped thread, zinc. Name three of the mo eight most common clamp types EMT, rigid, universal, OD tubing. Riser, Copper, Stainless, Cushion, U. True or false, strut channel and systems are universally standardized commodity products. True. True or false, strut is most typically manufactured by roll forming galvanized sheet coil. True. Congratulations! You are now a strut wizard. Use this knowledge wisely, grasshopper.